Today, we are visiting Israel. And this is a quest to devour food from all 195 countries in the world by exploring diverse cuisines, cultures, and helping local businesses whether it's in that country or in another. One dish at a time will encounter various challenges, heartwarming moments, and find delicious food discoveries. Join us as we indulge on this journey around the world. I got the homie with me, man, so go ahead and introduce yourself. What's good? It's the boy Prodigy. We're back at it again. You already know. Today, we're actually going to get crusty skin to get out of We're actually going to try some Israel. Some Israel food. We are at a little food spot, bro. It's called the Holy Grail, man. It's a little food truck spot, a little catering spot, bro. I'm ready to try this food, man. Let's go see what they got in store, bro. Let's go see if they got any popular dishes that we're looking for. Bro, let's try some food, bro. I'm hungry. Me and Prodigy, you know, we're big boys, so we're gonna eat some food today. What's your most popular dishes, they man? Got the chicken shawarma, the crispy schnitzel. It smells delicious in here already. And we're outside. We're not even inside. This smells delicious out here. Look, like they gave us a little sample of the shawarma, y'all. Oh, that is beautiful tender, bro. Probably even you get drunk. Thank you. Cameraman, eat too, bro. They say they don't eat, but they eat too, bro. Oh. It's nice and tender, bro. There is one problem, you guys. I wanted to get the shashuka, bro. Unfortunately, we cannot get the shashuka only because they ran out. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow morning to get the shashuka, you feel me? Really nice here at the Holy Grill. If you guys ever wanna try some Israeli food, some along the lines of that, bro, come here, downtown LA, bro. Holy Grill, man, I'm super excited, bro. Pretty hyped up right now to see what's up, you know, try some Israeli food, see see what they got, see what's up with the culture, you know, cause, dang, you putting that camera close up in my face, my brother, God, damn. It does look pretty good, it smells good. It's very to be like I own is honestly um smell other things but honestly just the food overtaking the smell it's, it's a lot better what's the cajones bro so the cajones is out here is what we call basically the alleys and the alleys right here is where you can get the hookups for your quinceanera dresses your tuxes all of that the trap house all of that you can find anything around here i've always been here and i've always just bought the hot dogs from the ladies around the corner now we're trying something different you know we're implementing a little bit of uh, the food truck culture into our reviews which is honestly something different because you guys see us go from restaurant to restaurant sometimes the little key places are constantly being food truck so we went ahead and we got the Pargia plate, man. That comes out to $20, bro. Let's see how big that plate is. It honestly has a unique name. I'm assuming it's gonna be really good. We also got the shawarma pita. That comes out to $16. So you guys already seen the plates, bro. Let's go ahead and try this food, man. We're gonna give it a little taste. We're gonna try it out. See what it's all about. See what the essence is. Let me get some, bro. Now you good. Cameraman don't need to eat. It's pretty good. Try a little bit of salad. Big back. Big back. Oh my god, that shit looks good. I ain't gonna lie. The salad is very refreshing. It has a good essence to it. I feel like the nutrients of the rice is so good in it. The chicken is well cooked, well done. It's prepped good. I've never been a really big fan of hummus, but this hummus is good. This is one of those really good plates that you just need on the side. On a warm summer day, this just fills you up. With the cello on the right, right here, you know, Morello, you know. We sick with it. Oh my gosh, bro. This looks like so many juices right here. Look at that. Oh my. Mm. If I had the choice, I would eat this every single day. Spending all that money on this every single day, it'd be a problem. He was not wrong, so he told us that it's better to put the chicken shawarma in the pita because then you get all the juices, all the flavors, all at once. If you could try this right now, bro, you guys would be in shock, bro. Chicken shawarma is fire. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm the biggest bag there is. When it comes to these food reviews, bro. Y'all saw my boy was eating that shorma. He was messing it up. Like it's not a damn tomorrow. He says he eats shorma like he eats his women in one bite. God damn, look at that. That glistening. Damn. That shit looks fire. Can I get a bite? I don't know. You know how Facebook got the walk? I got some motherfucking skedaddle. Donor was not wrong. The fact that you can actually taste the, the essence of the pita, the pita bread, like everything's just dripping into it. It just sucks in all at once, and it's just good. Mm -hmm. Pause. Yeah. All diddy. Don't let this diddy behind the camera right now fool you. This food is good. So the review. Wait. Oh shit. Oh. So the review was actually pretty, pretty solid, honestly. My review goes five stars. I don't like real onions. I don't like onions at all in general. Y'all can come at me in the comment section. I don't care. They cut the onions so thin, just like how my girl does it. My girl cuts the onions so thin, I don't even taste it on the food, and it's just the light. Crust is gonna be coming down tomorrow again because he's a big bag. He's gonna come with Captain Planet. Stay tuned to the video. You guys will love what's coming. We came back, you know, you feel me, the next day, man, we got the shock suka plate. This plate comes out to $18. Super excited to try this. Something I've been trying to try, bro, for a while. We also got, it's a sandwich that they only serve on Fridays here at the Holy Grill, man. It's called the Solika Sandwich. I don't know what to expect, man. This prices, you feel me, I feel like it's more because it's a food truck area, so uh, 
We'll see how it goes, man. Got the egg and everything, mix it up a little bit. Take a big old bite of that. That is like a texture I did not expect. I don't know what I expected, actually. I expected more like a soup, but it wasn't. It's not a soup. In a weird way, the texture tastes like a tamal. Like, it gives me a tamal vibe. Mm. Yeah, it's giving me like a tamal, like I'm eating masa, but it's not masa. It's like, it's not dough. A whole new culture right here in Locke, for sure. Mm. Wow, that design is so cool, bro. A lot of veggies in there, bro. Very scared to try it. I'm not a veggie guy, but let's go. It's like a veggie sandwich, like a veggie chicken sandwich. Like It was definitely an explosion, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The grease fell right out of it. This is something you eat to rejuvenate your body. Okay, I've been eating bad all week. Let me try something better. Let me try some veggies in it. I might have to come back here plenty more times, bro. This food has definitely left a mark on me. I'll go. I feel like yesterday I tried a whole different section of like what Israeli food would be compared to like this morning. I feel like this morning I tried the vegetarian side of things and then yesterday was like the meat eater side of things, right? What is it? The carnivores, right? Is that is that what it is? The carnivores? The carnivores? Sure. Very, very good food. Very, very genuine. Very, very uh, authentic. Their wait time is like 45 minutes to even get food right now. You could tell how authentic the food is. I'm going to go ahead and give this a five. If you guys like spice, put some spice in it. If you don't, bro, take the spice out. Trust me, they don't fuck around with the spice. We have gone to Israel and conquered it. Man, I should probably stop saying conquer, but we have conquered Israel today. You feel me? Now we're up to the next country. Let us know what country should be next. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications and ain't much else to say, man. From the whole entire world and America, your boy, Krusty Vlogs, Prodigy, and Planet Behind the Camera. Ah!